Welcome. Today, I'm going to be talking about the gifts of menopause. Yes, the gifts. I know that's not the story we have. We tend to have a really negative story about menopause, and I am here because we need an upgrade. We have a story of menopause being one of doom and gloom that's destined to be horrible. It's mostly about horrible, debilitating symptoms, and there's little that you can do about them, failing, taking HRT, or even then, and that we're really this is almost it's almost said like it's a failure in some way and i'm here because we need to start another story the real story about when menopause is menopause is not something that is being done to us it is a natural stage of life it is a transition period one of the big transition periods from our fertile years to our wise woman years just like birth gets us into life Puberty takes us from childhood to being a fertile woman, and menopause is the next transition. It's not necessarily easy, but it can be beautiful, it can be powerful, and there's so much wisdom that can come through this stage of life. And it doesn't mean that you have to suffer at all. So welcome. I'm going to talk a little bit about this. My name is Angela Warburton. If you don't know me, I am an Eastern medicine practitioner of over 25 years working with women in the clinic, but I am a postmenopausal woman. And personally, the story, the feelings that I had as I approached when I was in perimenopause, approaching menopause were horrible. I started to get depressed. I was feeling like this is it, this downward spiral. Here we go. This is the best life's ever going to be. And I decided that that wasn't true because I knew it wasn't true because I know enough women who are postmenopausal, most postmenopausal living, fantastic, rich, successful very stimulating lives and full of passion and full of meaning and purpose. And they have energy and they have vitality. They look beautiful. They look amazing, not because they've done things to their face, but because of what they're radiating out of their heart. And that's what I'm choosing to focus my attention on. And that's the work that I do. In Eastern medicine, there is a phrase of how we describe menopause and it's called the second spring. It's about a rebirth. It's a really, it's a time when we start to shed what isn't working. It's taking all the wisdom, the experience, the inner knowing, everything that we've gained through all the years that we've lived till this point, and then stripping away what is no longer serving. I like to call it excess baggage, things that it's just carrying, that we're carrying a lot of extra baggage around and it takes a lot of energy to do that. So stripping away what isn't working and by the way, what isn't working is going to become very clear through symptoms. When we say yes to things we don't want to do, when we overextend ourselves, when we're putting time and energy into people, into places, into things that don't feed us or aren't in alignment with who we truly are, we're going to feel worse. And when we start listening to what it is that we're drawn to, what it is that uh, that we desire, what we're interested in, that will free up energy. And no, we cannot, we do have to make some changes, some food, some lifestyle things. And yes, there are things that start to decline naturally as we age, but that doesn't mean that there's nothing we can do about them. All my work is about helping women find that balance, helping them understand their body, the menopause body, the way that symptoms are showing up in them, and then using holistic means to bring that balance back. That means the way we're living, means our relationships, means what we're eating, how we're exercising, and it doesn't have to feel bad. So really menopause is a time where we're more settled in who we are. It's a time where we have less fear um, as opposed to puberty, when we're worried of constantly about if we're going to be accepted, what we're doing, we're so self-conscious of who we are. And at this point, it's like, there's this beautiful element with menopause. It's like, I just can't care so much about what everyone thinks anymore. It takes too much energy. I am me. Here I am. I just, we get less worried um, about who we are how we're presenting or what other people think. And it's more about self-acceptance. It's about being really connected with who we are in our core. And we, our fertility shifts, we say in Eastern medicine, it shifts from, we stop losing blood every month with a cycle and we start sending that blood up to our heart and we start using it in a different way. This becomes a very, can become a very fulfilling time. Our fertility changes. We start to birth something new as opposed to birthing children, if that's what you chose to do. If, But if you didn't, it's still the body saying, this takes a lot of energy every month to have this cycle and I'm going to use this life force for something else. And so then when we put this 
all this together, our wisdom, our experience, our inner knowing, our likes, our dislikes, our innate talents and gifts. And then we start to birth something new that is really about expressing who we are in a different way out into the world. It's becoming more about having impact that is from an authentic version of ourselves. And when we don't listen, our body's going to talk. That's true. But if we can look at it in a different way and looking at it as information, what's trying to get our attention through our body symptoms, through how we feel, through where we're, what, you know, if we're starting to get depressed because we're in a job or irritated with things that in the past, maybe we were fine. Like, yeah, that's fine. I can handle it. You can, I can handle it. But when we start to become intolerant of things, this was definitely for me. I had a job, I had a clinic, I worked in the clinic, I owned a multidisciplinary clinic, and I started to resent the things I once loved because it was time for something new. And so I remembered this, I learned this, I tried to do it with as much grace as possible as I stepped away from that and shifted into doing something different. Because the best, the greatest, the biggest thing that you can offer the world is you in your fullness, in your wholeness. And when you're operating from a place where you are understanding who you are, honoring that, filling up with the things that give you energy, you're naturally gonna overflow and give to those that you love, to give to the things that you love and have more impact and energy than you ever did before. So if that resonates with you, I encourage you to look at menopause from this perspective of this idea of a rebirth, a second spring, a shedding of what isn't working and a stepping into that which is even more aligned than you and more in more in alignment and more um using your particular strength wisdom and skills in a way that you've never been able to do before that can only come through this portal of menopause hope that's helpful for you. I'd love to hear your comments. I know some people don't like this and some people are just like, thank you. I've been waiting for this. This is a powerful, normal, magical in some ways time of life because you are ready to birth something new. So if you want to know more, I do videos like this every week. Uh, reach out to me if you're interested. I have lots of trainings and resources for women who are midlife trying to operate and to navigate this time with more health, with more vitality, and quite frankly, more radiance, because that's what happens when we have this culmination of all these beautiful things through the portal of menopause. So thank you for being here. I look forward to seeing you next time. Okay. Have a beautiful day or evening. Bye for now.